It's beginning to look a lot like Christmas Everywhere you go Sleigh bells ring, are you listening? In the lane, snow is glistening A beautiful sight, we're happy tonight Walking in a winter wonderland Gone away is the bluebird Here to stay is a new bird to Sing a love song while we stroll along Walking in a winter wonderland and Chestnuts roasting on an open fire Jack Frost nipping at your nose He woke up this morning believing today would be just like any other Little did he know. And so it begins. Decorating my room for every holiday of 2022. Rocking around the Christmas tree at the Christmas party hop. Mistletoe home where you can see every couple tries to stop. Rocking around the Christmas tree, let the Christmas spirit break. Later we'll have some pumpkin pie and we'll do some caroling. You will get a sentimental feeling when you hear voices singing. Let me jolly set. This is 
why you need a basket when you're decorating your tree. Wait till you see how cute this turns out. Have you ever put your tree directly in a basket? Instead of a tree skirt, use this. Add a little throw, so cute. So I have a certain way that I hang my ornaments. I don't do it the traditional way where they're kind of just hanging from the tree. I really don't like seeing that hook and the top of the ornament. So I'll just take the hook and attach it to the furthest branch in the back. This gives it like that fun stuffed ornament look. Decorate my home with me for Christmas part five. I promise you guys we're almost done, but we have a few more things to do. Everything is a mess right now because we have all the Christmas boxes and everything still out. So I can't wait till we finish everything and we're so close. The first thing we got started on today, which is something we've been avoiding is the garland on the staircase because it makes a mess, but also it's just kind of difficult to do. I took a lot of time to fluff everything nice and full and then we started hanging it on the staircase. This is definitely a two man job, especially because we are very careful to not scratch the banister. And we also use kind of like this padded cushion stuff to tie it around the banister with some zip ties and then some ribbon and we have to carry on with the Mackenzie Childs theme so we added in some bows I like to add it to the high points and places that we tied the garland to kind of tie it all together then we got started on the second story garland basically doing the same thing and because it's flocked it makes an absolute mess but that's okay because we clean it all up in the end what's nice is I pre-made these bows about a year or two ago so I don't have to spend all that time remaking them every year and it just makes my life a lot easier you know now that I think of it people say you decorate for Christmas way too early you need to wait until after Thanksgiving y'all it takes me at least a few weeks if not a month to decorate my entire home so I want to make sure I have it up early enough to be able to enjoy it we also had some like miscellaneous decorations that we didn't know where we wanted to put but we loved them like these three trees so we decided to put them right here by the front entryway table and I love the way that it turned out I think it's so cute and then we added this big adorable Santa Claus right at the base of our staircase and if you're having trouble decorating and you don't know what to put where just kind of throw it all together and move it all around and see what works and see what feels right to you and and I promise you're gonna come up with something that you love. So I did this really cute hot cocoa bar with my favorite Christmas mugs. I do wanna get a mug stand, but I don't have one yet. And then I put this really gorgeous picture with a tree. I got this from Kirkland's right by my coffee machine. And again, with the miscellaneous decor items, these cute snowmen, I put them like holding hands together by the front door. And then I put this little arrangement in the bathroom. Again, couldn't figure out how I wanted it, but we got it done in the end. And of course, we can't forget the reason why we're celebrating Christmas, which is to celebrate the birth of Jesus. So I wanted to make this nature Activity scene extra special this year. I wanted to do like different heights with snow and also add this gold garland which I thought looked really nice and then I added two and then I'm like no let me put it in the back let me put it all around and then I was like no I don't like it in the back let me add the nativity scene and see how I like it and then I just hated it all together so I added the lanterns and then I took the gold completely off sorry that was a mouthful but we ended up just cutting a few pieces of the gold garland and putting it on the edges and I think it looks so beautiful in the end. Stay tuned for part six. It's beginning to look a lot like Christmas Everywhere you go Take a look at the five and ten It's glistening once again With candy canes and silver lanes that glow It's beginning to look a lot like Christmas Toys in every store but the prettiest sight to see Is the holly that will be On your own front door A pair of hop-along boots And a pistol that shoots Is the wish of Barney and Ben Dawes that'll talk and will go for a walk Is the hope of Janice and Jen And Mom and Dad can hardly wait For school to start again It's beginning to look a lot Have a holly jolly Christmas It's the best time of the year Now I don't know if there'll be snow But have a cup of cheer Have a holly jolly Christmas And when you walk down the street 
Say hello to friends you know and everyone you meet. You have to try this easy and inexpensive holiday centerpiece using items from the Target Dollar Spot. Have a basket, tray, or platter and line it with the Dollar Spot trees in a staggering order. I alternated color and size to get this look. Pro tip, for a rectangular table, use a long, narrow tray, a circle tray on a round table, and a square tray for a square table. You can elevate this look by adding some snow and lights, or keep it simple like I did. Don't forget to follow along for more holiday-inspired decor. You were someone to rely on me I guess I was a shoulder to cry on A place on a lover with a fire in his heart A man in the cover but you tore me up I've been transforming my Halloween decor for Christmas and it's finally time for the pillars and arch. I decided to paint the arch red and I'm using these pre-painted letters that I'm attaching using crazy tape mounting tape because this can be used outdoors. And now it's time to install it on the pillars. I added some outdoor lights and some grapevine reindeer bust to the pillars and I think this is a great combination of fun and classy. My art is almost ready for Christmas. It's never too early to put up Christmas decorations and to celebrate this beautiful time of year, so today is part one of doing just that. I like to set up the tree first so I can get a good feel of what I want to do for the rest of the house. As you can see, everything is very bare in my house right now. We cleared out all the decor so that we can make room for the Christmas stuff. We love adding red lights to our tree, and when we turned them on, they just looked very wonky, and they were all in the wrong spot, so we took all of them out and we redid the entire tree just to make it look perfect. While we were decorating, I watched The Holiday for the first time. I am happy absolutely in love with it. It has to be my favorite movie now. Let me know in the comments what your guys' favorite holiday movie is to watch so I can watch all of them. I unraveled all of the ornaments. We bubble wrap them every year just to protect them and then I got started on the Christmas tree ribbon. If you can't tell by now, we do a Mackenzie Childs themed Christmas every year. We are absolutely in love with their stuff. So if you're not into checkers, this is probably not the theme for you, but this is what it looked like. I made this bow for the very top and these are all of our ornaments. I honestly can't explain how much joy and excitement these ornaments give me. Every single one of them is so special to us and I'm just in love. I like to take my time with the placement of these to make sure every single one of them gets their moment on the tree and then I got started separating all of the bows that I made last year. If you don't already add bows to your Christmas tree I highly recommend it especially ones that are really interesting looking because I feel like it makes the tree just look that much more special. Once we were done adding all the final touches we added the tree skirt on the bottom. I'm gonna get a new one. I feel like this one is too small and it's just not as grand as I want it to be but this is the final look of the tree. Let me know what your guys's Christmas decor theme is this year and also DM me a picture of your tree on Instagram. 
Instagram. I'm so interested in seeing all of the beautiful ones you guys create. And then I got started on decorating the shelves next to the tree, which I feel like just ties everything in together. And I need to get a stocking for my puppy, but this is what the shelves look like all done. There's still a whole lot more to decorate. This is just a little sneak peek of everything else we have. So stay tuned for part two and part three and part four, because there's going to be a lot of parts to this. Thanks for hanging out and decorating my Christmas tree. I will see you guys in part two.